Awesome, so that, get that! The first half, that's our mums. Um, but Will, you were saying earlier about like other women in your life that have been really important, and you were saying like one of your teachers? Oh, absolutely, so, yeah. yeah. So, um, Mrs. Conlon, if you're out there, my RE teacher, uh, it was really quite a massive inspiration to me. Oh, <gasps> I didn't realise that was coming to me, so I didn't shoot. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, she, my, my RE teacher, Mrs. Conlon, was a massive inspiration of faith uh, to me. <laughs> Um, growing up, and I don't think I necessarily always realised again at the time, uh, but looking back, like she taught me so much about like what it means to be um, not only like on terms of like what in a learning side of things of what it means to be a Catholic and a Christian in today's world, but also like in a more actual how to live your life kind of way. Uh, through like the various opportunities you provided. Now, Matt, actually, you had the same RE teacher, didn't you? So, I did. Yeah, and I, I, I definitely agree. Yeah, absolutely. And actually, all, all the teachers really at St Thomas More, uh, shout out, uh, <laughs> <laughs> were, were phenomenal. But um, yeah, I think if I think back uh, to like my earlier years at St Thomas More, Mrs Conlon definitely like showed me what it was like to be a living Catholic because I didn't go to a Catholic primary school. And so, if I think of incredible women in my life and in my faith, and this kind of would definitely be there. Yeah. Awesome. Is there anyone who jumps out for you, James, in your life? Maybe. Um, definitely my grandma. Yeah. She's like um, a classic Irish granny. I would oh, say. Yeah. She's one of them, like, full on, like, I wouldn't say die-hard Catholics. Um, she's pretty committed. Yeah, she's very committed to her <laughs> faith. I like goes to church a lot. Uh, she hasn't been able to go recently. Um, but she still gets cleaning brought to her that, and she's very much like, you need to know that's proud of It's definitely very much like, that's definitely how my faith has came about with her, because sitting at church, I know quite a lot of prayers now because of her. <laughs> yeah, no, that's important though, isn't it? Like, having that yeah, sort of... Yeah, having them drunk. And there's like loads of like older people who I remember from my church when I was growing up, who were like, particularly when I was like, started being an altar server, and like, you know, there was a lady who always helped get like, the altar ready and, and everything oh, yeah, before yeah. mass and just yeah. you know they were really important because you just saw their example of faith and I think that's one of the things that Mary really shows us is that example of faith and mm. and certainly like for me a lot of the, the ladies in the parish when I was growing up were real you know examples of faith they were always there they were um, you know always there to help and be supportive but also to show you sort of how to be Yes, yes, yes. Oh, press pass, but it didn't. Da, work. da, da. There we are. Um, <laughs> because it says mute, I've got no idea how long this <laughs> 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 like, uh, is. It's like when it went half hour. Is it an hour that? long? I don't know. Like, are we? Oh, he's taking you both ways. Oh, oh. But you still didn't cross. <sighs> what? How about how you? How is that not a corner? <laughs> Um, so are there any, uh, for me, yeah, um, like we say, uh, you know, so teachers at school, there were some real, um, really strong teachers who I knew that were, just lived like really good lives and made you sort of want to, um, you know, follow their example. For me, um, sort of two main people really, so my auntie, um, she's very committed to her faith and that has served as a great example for me, um, so she's weekday masses and weekend masses and all the masses really, um, and very committed, which is a great example to me. Um, but also my sister, so <gasps> she Crossing. was on team as well. In uh, the same year that I was on team at Alton. Oh no! Too <laughs> <laughs> old. Oh. Oh. Right, can, Will, can you just press the pause button quickly? Oh wait there, no, are you? St oh, 84. 84, right. oh, oh, what a timely goal. 84 minutes, right, okay. So yeah, you were saying your sister who was on yeah. team uh, yeah. um, 20, 30 years ago? Yeah, ages ago now. Um, I actually Cheers. came up in year nine <laughs> on retreat then, so our school comes in year nine, and she was on team then. And year nine for me was a really strong year for my faith, so uh, my confirmation as well as that retreat was the year. <laughs> and Sophie had been on team, um, learnt a lot about her faith, and. It really empowered me to sort of follow in her footsteps and eventually apply for team as well. And here I am making this video. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, she's going to ball now. Oh, that's definitely the win today. Her example to me has been really powerful and still is today. So well, that's good. Yeah. Get that. Oh no, not to you. You. <sighs> Do we get to extra time? Yes. Oh, has there been an extra time on any of the videos? No, because you smashed. I smashed Lawrence, Lawrence and then. 
Charles and Tom. Like two one. Two one. Oh, so we're gonna go. To, are we going to classic? Yeah. Okay. We've all been to Lords. Have any of you felt like you know particularly close or prayerful at the Grotto or you know because that's a big thing for me was. I thought the grotto was just so cool. Like you know when you walk yeah. through at and night, you touch just... that stone oh, yeah. where like everyone else has been and it's like smoothed down. Yeah. I just thought that was so cool when I first went because I was like, wow, how many people have been here to to like have that impact and that effect? Also, imagine how I would have first thought when someone walked past and touched the stone. Yeah. Like we feel it now and it's like ultra smooth. Like back then it must have been like I don't know. I, yeah. Yeah, no, it's mad, isn't it? So, have you do you do, do you often go for like you know? I, I like to go at night and stuff. Do you yeah. go? Do you like at night, yeah, like torchlit processions. I remember one night prayer we did. So we got split into pairs, and um, we sort of sat together in our pairs and prayed for each other, and then we said the Hail Mary together at the grotto, and like we got reminded that every time we then said the Hail Mary from then on, we had to think of that person, and that was really powerful for me. Oh, that's, I know I really like that, that's, uh, so I suppose like that's probably one of the things that Mary teaches us the most really, is that sort of unity in prayer and um, keeping each other close in the way that Mary kept Jesus close to her for his whole life. Mm. Um, he didn't leave his side, did he? I suppose to me Mary kind of resembles how through being a Christian, we are part of a family. Like Mary was literally family with Christ, but I mean, through being, and she, but she was the first disciple, and that's kind of metaphorical for me in that, like, it shows that oh, we are no! in that family with Christ. Yeah, yeah yes, we was. are. <laughs> yes, we are in that family. Oh, and it. like, let's kick a game. And like, I suppose that's what our mums show us as well, really. Don't yeah, that important of yeah. of family mm. and and of that uh, you know connection. To each mm -hmm. other through, and I suppose it's like you know our mums are still with us, just like Mary was still with her uh, Jesus all the way through. Yeah, absolutely. 100%. Yeah, actually, quite a <clears throat> powerful moment recently, um, uh, where I don't know if you've seen the other video on our channel, uh, Will's visit to the Holy Land. But I recently went to the Holy Land and uh, was very fortunate um, to be able to do the Stations of the Cross in what? Oh my crumbs! <laughs> In Jerusalem itself. Yeah, so I was very fortunate to do the Station of the Cross in Jerusalem itself, and I had a real kind of moment when we were reading uh, the Station of uh, Mary watching Jesus um, oh, carrying yeah. his cross, and I was kind of thinking, like, imagining my own mum watching me if I'd been carrying that cross and thinking about how my mum would have felt, and I found that oh, quite powerful myself. But yeah, and I suppose as we as we've just had Easter, and that's something really. To reflect on really is how our mums have been there for our whole lives and uh what is going on with this uh, you can't tell that's what's going on yeah <laughs> don't aim that extreme yes! <laughs> no! <laughs> that's oh. everyone i did that to one here <laughs> the worst penalty <laughs> ever <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. well uh that seems like a good way to end will was reflecting on uh his time in the Holy Land, so check that video out. And just think about how your mum has been with you uh, through your life so far. And maybe, if, you know, maybe not your mum, then just all of the other wonderful and important women in your lives. Um, thanks for watching. Um, that was huge fun. Um, mm. We'll have to do it again sometime. Um, but until then, uh, we'll see you soon. Uh, goodbye! Bye! Bye. Bye.